everyone, welcome back. My name is Gigi Fizz. How y'all doing today? We're going to take a look at tips and tricks on how to intersect two walls with vanilla arc materials. That's right, zero mods. We are using a software called Arc Commander. That is a software you can go check that out on the top right of the corner of the screen. And we're going to show you exactly how we can turn this awful, terrible thing into perfectly smooth connecting walls. All right. Let's find out, let's show you, and hopefully you learn a thing or two. Alrighty, so, like I said in the intro, this is kind of a old technique, it's probably been here around two years, because it's been in the game probably since then, but no one has found it until now. I'm going to patent it, the GG Fizz Intersection Walls patent. There you go. No, I'm just kidding, you guys can use it, you know, but I discovered it, so ha! Just kidding. Anyways, let's go over here. Let's explain a little thing. So. Here, for instance, you have a fence foundation, right? And, you know, you're just building your, you know, your wall. And you're placing down your some, you know, fence foundations and stuff. And you come into a, a point where you need to do something like this. You need to put a fence foundation through another fence foundation. Just because you didn't know how to place walls properly. Fence foundations. And what you're going to probably want to do is, you know, put a wall here and another wall inside of it. If you didn't place it on top of yourself like that okay you can't do that it's impossible the arc coding is preventing you from intersecting two walls with each other okay the way that I have found around this is that if you use regular door frames now you can use any material all the way up to tech it works for everything we're just gonna use stone for the tutorial because it's just the easiest thing in that I spawned first okay we're gonna place the first one down. Doesn't matter which one you want, but we're just gonna place one down. We're gonna another, now we're gonna place another one down in between, okay? Now you're probably like, how the hell is this happening? You know what? I wonder if it's because our coding is allowing the intersection of the middle area, allowing it to be intersected because there's nothing intersecting with each other. Capiche? Maybe, who knows? We'll find out one day, okay? Now what you're gonna do is put your nice fancy dancy thatch wall down. And then you're going to put your other thatch fall wall down. Now, that's it. That's all you do. It's literally that simple. I'll show you again because you're probably blown away. Okay? We're going to do door frame again. We're going to do another door frame. This time we're going to do a tech wall. And then we're going to do another. You know what? No. Let's not even do a tech wall. Let's do a metal wall since it's on my hotbar. Let's do a metal wall. Look how easy that is. Now, the example of this is pretty straightforward. We're on a ground, a flat ground. We're trying to intersect two walls because we built the wall, a wall horribly. And if I was building it, this would never happen. But you know, maybe you accidentally, you know, didn't know how to place found fence foundations yet. So this is probably a thing that's gonna happen. All right, this is pretty easy. So let's move on to the next thing. So imagine if you're building, right? So for instance, we have my famous octagon build that you guys freaking loved. Top right of the corner, if you didn't know how to build this, that there's an entire whole video on it. For instance, what happens if you're building something like this, right? And you stumble upon something that you have like this. You're trying to fill in this area and you can't because you can't intersect walls because the game doesn't allow you to do that. And you probably do something like this and maybe you try to put some fence foundations down and you know, you're trying, you're just, you, it's just a complete mess. Don't do that, okay? What are you gonna wanna do, okay? Same thing. You're going to use door frames. Once again, you're going to place a door frame down left to right. Doesn't matter. You're going to now place it on the opposite side. Look at that. That looks pretty cool. You can use that example as a, a build if you really wanted to. But what you can do now is we can put a wall down here. And let's do another wall. And we put, put another wall down. Now you have a simple and very easy way to fix this entire area if you wanted to do this. It's literally that easy. We'll, we'll do it a couple more times. Ready? Stone wall, wood wall, wood walls, wood walls. We'll do metal wall, metal wall. We'll even do tech walls. Look at that. Look how easy that is. You can literally do this with almost anything. All right. This is probably one of the easiest ways that you're going to be able to intersect two vanilla arc walls with each other that you'll never be able to do ever again because you never thought this was possible. All right, 
So we went over exactly on intersection walls. Now you're probably wondering how many can we intersect with each other? Well, we're gonna find out right now. So let's start with just placing a regular fence foundation. Let's now also place another fence foundation intersecting with that fence foundation. And let's do another one, all right? So this is new territory for us. We know that we can intersect two fence foundations with each other. Can we intersect with three? Let's see if this works. So first we're gonna do is place the door frame. If the game, thank you, thank you very much. We're gonna place another one, and we're gonna hopefully be able to place one more. Very nice. Now, the true test is, test is, are we gonna be able to place a wall in between these two? Because it kind of looks like we won't be able to, but we'll see. So let's first do a metal wall in this one. Let's also do another metal wall in that one, and let's see if this is gonna work a tech wall in between both of those and would you look at that we just intersected three walls with each other why would you do this well for instance if you're trying to do a some sort of triangle shape if you're trying to do something like this right and you want to have a kind of a arc symbol on the ground like instance for something like this or an a something like that right Maybe you want to do something like this. Well, you know, look how easy this is. I mean, boom, 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 boom. I mean, now we just made a noob trap. Actually, no, we didn't. You can't even get stuck in here. <laughs> but look at this. I mean, that's that you can do something like that. For instance, if you wanted to make a wall with a pointy bit, just like a little triangle, just like that, and have a, your wall going out to this side and left to right, you can literally do that. It's not even that hard. And, you know, that's that's cool and all, but, like, what else can we do? Well, let's let's try one more thing. Let's. Try, I want to see how many we can do. So let's do one fence foundation here. Let's try and do another one here. 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 And here. Now, this is extreme, right? You could probably fit a lot less, but we're gonna just <laughs> we're just going to do it for this video. Well, you know what? We'll even put it right in the middle. How's that? We'll even give it a little bit of a better shot. Yeah. Okay. So, first off, we're going to place the one that we first placed down, just to make sure it's going to work. Next, what we're going to do is just place a bunch of them inside each other, like so. And it's going to be a little bit hard, but we can get through it, I think. I'm putting it through its test, by the way, paces right now for you guys. So, how many walls is this? That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight walls intersecting with each other, right? Let's see if we can place them all. So, let's do a metal one. Let's do another metal one. Hey, we're gonna have to fly up for this for, for you guys. Let's place another one. Another one. Another one. Nope, we already replaced the wrong one. We're gonna do a tech wall now. And we're also going to do a wood wall. All right, so now the moment of truth. Can we intersect both of these fence foundations, uh, door frames with each other? Well, let's see. Oh my goodness, you can. If I can snap properly. It's a little hard just to get the right snap point. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, can I get it? Ah, I didn't get it. But you get what I mean. You get what I mean. We can literally intersect as many walls as possible with one wall going sideways. Now, for instance, you probably could stack about maybe, I don't know, 10 and 10, 10 fence foundations with each way and be able to have a super wall. You can find that on your own. But for my demonstration purposes for the video, you can literally do anything you wanted with intersecting walls in this game now because of this. All right, so you're probably wondering, that's cool and all, it works on the floor, the ground. Does it work on ceil ceilings? Well, we're gonna find out with you. So for instance, let's place a regular fence foundation just there, right? No snap points, nothing. Let's place another one in the middle of it, okay? Just like that. Now, in theory, this should be able to snap just like this. Be able to intersect and perfectly snap within, within each other. 
but you can't. Here's the thing. You cannot do that without foundations. Now, you're probably wondering, well, just put a fence foundation on there. Or a foundation. Well, if that was so easy, it would be easy. But it doesn't work like that. You can't have a floating fence foundation with a ceiling. It just doesn't work. What you can do, though, is you can do something like this. Whoops. And something like that. Now, this should work relatively easy. Will it snap with each other? Would you look at that? That's working. Ah, ah. So if you see this, it says it's obstructed. What it's trying to do is it's trying to snap to this ceiling right here. I'm not using the fence foundations. If I was, int, then it would be possible. Interesting, I'm just looking at all the snap points, okay. So we can do this. Ah, would you look at that? It's not working up here. But what happens if we did this first? This part. Oops. What happens if we did this part first? Then this one. Huh. So it looks like there's a some sort of coloration of the coating of which way you need to be able to snap intersecting with the ceiling. There's going to be needing a lot more testing than I have for this video for you guys. For this. Because I want to get this out to you as soon as possible. Because a lot of you guys have been asking me about the stone intersection stuff and if you're probably asking does this work on foundations yes yes it does alrighty well anyways hopefully you all enjoyed this tutorial if you did make sure you like subscribe and follow and don't forget if you have any questions feel free always put them in the comments down below and I will definitely try to answer them and if you have any questions about the octagon build in the beginning or anything else that I've showed you in the entire video there is going to be some playlists on the top right as well that you can go click out I've been using this new technique on a lot of different builds and I'm showing you right now some examples on them and uh, it's a very cool and very interesting game changer and I think it's going to change a lot of different building ideas that I have in the future um, that I, I, I have a lot of good ones now that I can use this technique with so it's gonna be interesting to see on that and I know I definitely want to see you guys send them in to me because I want to see if you found anything else so feel free you can send them through my Twitter or through the Steam page uh, and they're always in the description down below um, I would love to hear and see how you guys have dealt with, you know, these new techniques on these two tips and tricks I've done. So, but yeah, so anyways, that's it. If you guys liked the video, leave a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and I love you all. Hopefully you enjoyed this tips and tricks, and I will be coming out with even more in the future. That's it. Enjoy the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everyone, and have a good one.